How do folks? Uh, Buds here. Um, just going to show you a quick modification that I've done to my uh, tail stock of my Super 7. Um, one that's been bugging me for a while, a little problem that this has had. And uh, that is that there's a bit of play in the barrel here and the pin that engages with the slot in the side of the barrel. So as a consequence, when you've got a drill in, when you're going into drilling to a piece, there's a slight bit of play there. I mean, it's nothing really, but it's really annoyed me. And what ha tends to happen sometimes is, when you're drilling, it'll catch. So you'll s get a sudden catch because of that play. So what I wanted to do was to get rid of that and uh, stop the play as much as possible, which hopefully is what I've done. So basically what I've done, I've already pre-made the, the new pin that's going in there, and I'll show you that in a tick. And I've just put the old one in here just to show you wobbling about in the breeze. Now I'm not sure if they all do that or if mine's just been worn over the years or, or what, but if you can see that, it's, I mean, it's not horrendous, but it's something I wanted to address. So without further ado, let's take that out. So the tail stock at the minute then has got the original one in, which is just a pin which goes in through the barrel that way and out that way. So we'll take that out, take the barrel out. So as you know, in those you've got that uh, pin and that uh, rectangular section on there. Now when that fits in there in the side here, it kind of wobbles about in the breeze a bit. It's it's wanting to do that, which is causing that play in the barrel. The actual rectangular piece on this one is quite a good fit. There's a little bit of play, so that's adding to the uh, problem as well. So those two things combined, you're getting that... Um, play in the barrel so what I've done is I've made up a brass section in um, I think oh, well, I've forgotten the measurement of that now 6.3 and on that I've put a M6 thread and it's roughly 25 and a half mil so 25 mil and in the top of the sec, uh, the brass, I've milled a small slot for the square section of brass to fit through, and that's three mil, three mil square. So what I've had to do is I've set that in there and silver soldered it, and then dressed it down on my linisher. There's a bit of hit and miss, just trying to get it just right, and remill these slots slightly. But now what I've got is a system where I can put that back in that way screw that tight so there's no play in this and there's no play in here and it eliminates the uh, slop so we'll stick this back in here this is a bit of a bit of a faff as you may well know I'll use a pair of pliers oh. there you go they're always dropping something I'll use a different set of pliers. Right, here we go. There we go. So it's a little bit long this thread, so it's a bit tricky to get in. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. So I've popped that through there. I've lined up the slot with the uh, slot on the barrel, obviously, as best I can. I'll stick this back on. Pair to get back on as well. There we go. Right, we're on. So what I'll do now is I'll just put the M6 nut on there and tweak it up just to bring that barrel and that uh, T-slot in. But I won't tighten it all the way until I've got my barrel back on. So a quick eyeball in there to make sure it's still a bit straight. And what I'm aiming for is just a nice, nice tight fit on that rectangular section. So as I've dressed it down, I've done it um, a few on and off test fits just to make sure I've got it as a 
so that we're on now and my spanner which I can now tighten up the back the nut on the stud and that's it hopefully now wrong one so we're in and out no problem nice and smooth but now there's no slop on there just a very slight amount or a lot less than there was so next time I make one when this brass one eventually wears out I'll make one out of stainless steel uh, and that'll probably wear a little bit better but for now this brass one seems to be uh, doing the job and it's taken a hell of a lot more of the slop out that was already in there so if you've got a sloppy barrel as they say and you want to tighten it up that's a that could be a solution for you quick half an hour an hour job and um, hopefully that will be that so my micrometer slide on here as you can see is just on a piece of aluminium which is bored through and fits on the very end of the barrel and uh, taps with an M3 the end is uh, got a hole through it and I've chamfered some aluminium tubing just to fit that back on there in the correct position <clears throat> and obviously the top one's at an angle as well so you have to make yourself a little collar for that so there you go guys Hope you found that uh, interesting or useful for a little half an hour project. Cheers guys, see you soon, have fun.